Hi, I'm Dr. Siu Takwa. Today I'm going to talk about a medical condition known as bruxism. Bruxism is a medical condition where you clench or grind your teeth. This can happen either in the day, known as awake bruxism, or at night when you're sleeping, known as nocturnal bruxism. Bruxism happens unconsciously. You do not know that you're doing it, and very often people have to point it out to you that you are clenching your teeth. Doctors do not know exactly why we brux, but it is thought to be a combination of factors such as psychological, physical, and genetic. So if you have parents or siblings who have the problem, you may be more likely to be suffering from it too. It can also get worse when you're stressed, when there's tension, and when you feel anxious. Because bruxism happens unconsciously, people who have it often do not know. If you sleep with a partner, then your partner may be the one who will point out that you have bruxing symptoms at night. The grinding from bruxing is very loud and will often wake your sleeping partner. If you sleep alone or if no one points it out to you, you may also suspect that you have the problem if you wake up every morning feeling like there's a lot of tensions in the jaw or if there are problems with your TMJ joint here or if you feel that you have headaches when you wake up, often in the temples. Also, if you grind your teeth for a long period of time, you may notice that the molars at the back of your mouth become flattened. In a worst case scenario, you may even suffer from a cracked tooth. That is what happened to me. If your bruxism is mild, you can leave it alone. But if it starts to cause problems such as headaches or cracked teeth, then you will have to seek medical attention. While it is difficult to permanently treat bruxism, many people grow out of it. People who have it during their childhood may find that they do not have it anymore later when they are adults. For people who are not so lucky like myself, there are some options you can consider. Behavioural techniques actually help. Ways to help you relax such as meditation has been known to decrease the incidence of bruxism. Your dentist may also prescribe a mouth guard. So the mouth guard is a a protective layer that prevents your teeth from grinding down on each other. So this is effective, however, it may be very uncomfortable to wear and people find that they cannot fall asleep. Again, this is what happened to me. And so, there is one more good treatment for bruxism and this is using injections of botulinum toxins into the masseters, uh, which are the muscles here responsible for chewing and teeth grinding. So in this treatment, Botulinum toxin uh, with the brands Xeomin, Botox or Dispot is injected into the muscles and this causes the muscles to weaken and once they are weakened, the bruxism improves. Many people often ask me which brand of botulinum toxin is better for bruxism. Well, of the three brands, Xeomin, Dispot and Botox, scientific studies have shown that they all work equally well. However, there are some which may have advantages over the other. For example, Xeomin is a pure toxin with no complexing proteins. So, um, over time, as you repeat the treatment more and more, uh, there is less chance or no chance that you will develop resistance against the treatment. For that reason, I prefer to use Xeomin in my practice. But your doctor will explain to you the differences between the different toxins and choose the toxin which is best for you. Botulinum toxin for the treatment of bruxism is remarkably safe. The procedure involves just a few tiny injections into the bulk of the masseter muscles and you will start to see effects within two weeks, maximum results in four weeks. Side effects are mostly temporary and these include mouth swelling, aching and possibly bruising at the injection site. Sometimes you may feel that chewing of hard foods such as beef becomes a bit more difficult in the first one to two months after the treatment. If the toxin is injected too superficially or in the wrong place, then there is a condition whereby your smile becomes asymmetrical after the treatment. This can be prevented with good and proper technique during the injections. In general, the treatment lasts about 6 months. After that, you will have to repeat the treatment again to ensure that your masseter muscles do not become too strong so that you start bruxing again.